Hello, it's your boy from 1996, and I'm reacting to another episode of The Low Standards. In this episode, we'll be tackling a fun little uh, mobile game I found one day, and I've been playing for a while. It's pretty fun. It's called Slayin'. I don't know how loud it will be because the vo I, I turned up the volume, but like I said, it's hard to predict this kind of stuff. Pixel Liquor Games. <laughs> But yeah, Slayer, Slayer is, uh, Slayin, I mean, shit, is pretty simplistic in terms of how to play it. Depending on what character you're controlling, you just move left and right and that's it. I only have three of the uh, six playable characters. I have Knight, Wizard, and Knave. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the first one. Uh, armor upgrade. Alright, lots of they attack. Attack the imp perfectly. Alright, uh, where do I start? Alright, there we go. This one is pretty simplistic in its controls. You just basically press the buttons. With the knight, you can move left and right and kill enemies, but, um, it also jump. There's also challenges you can do, which you, you have to do in order to uh, unlock fame points, which you will need in order to unlock the other playable characters. You can't just get fame points by buying them, but it feels more rewarding to do it without actually going to microtransactions. This game is simplistic yet fun. It has the pixel art style of like old games, which is pretty fun nonetheless. Oh, there's a shop there. Every now and then a shop, mer a merchant will appear to, to let you buy stuff. Alright, so it wants to go 20 levels without having to buy the armor upgrade, which is going to be interesting. Uh, let's increase attack range for now. I'll go heal up when the time is right. You can also gain health from, uh, from killing certain enemies. These enemies will, uh, will drop off these little cherry things. I don't know what they're called. But it will give you a health up, uh, it will, uh, raise your health a little. Oh, potion. Wait, no, potion is more points. You get points in order to, uh, get money. Alright, first up loss is the Minotaur. All I gotta do is move back and forth and strike it when it's unconsciously knocked to the wall. Great thing you play like Proto oh. You play like Proto Man in uh, Mega Man uh, 3 where he just jumps. And he jumps and shoots. Ah! Dang it, I'm so bad at this. Usually I, I kind of have less problems dealing with the, um, dealing with that guy. Alright, uh, let's see here. Increase attack range. Let's heal up first, and then we'll increase back attack range. I think I ran out of money, so I didn't buy the upgrade, I just realized. All these spiked things, I hate them. Yeah! Got rid of the skull. Not the skull, but the tombstone that shoots skulls at me. Alright. So good so far. Play a little pixel art for the enemies. The other character that we get to get is, uh, Ninja. I think it's Tenoichi because it's a female ninja, more specifically. Uh, Archer, and, uh, Tamer, or, I think what his name is, what he's referred to. Um, uh, we're good for now. I probably should have farmed just a bit more, because the merchant will disappear after a while when appearing. So far, so good. Ouch. Right. So far, beating up every enemy. Ouch. Oh, uh, here's what I don't even do perfectly. In this one, it wants you to kill the imp without gaining any damage. It's hard for me to predict their, sh his, their shots, though. Or at least try to remember the pattern in order to avoid them. Nope. 
Nope. Ooh. I did it! Woo! I did the quest. Nice. I actually didn't know I was going to do that. I also did the uh, armor upgrade one, too. Which means I can now buy the armor upgrade. Where's some more? Oh. Uh, did I finish it? Oh, I did it. Uh oh, they're sitting in ghosts now, along with stronger slimes. I think it's actually stronger slimes that I see in it, because enemies aren't that strong compared to bosses, though. I think they're more of a. Um, just a color variant for the stage. Oh, we got zombies now. It's seeking you know, like multiple typical RPGs, but the style they're playing at, it reminds me a little bit of uh, another game which I'll play uh, in the next episode, along with some other games, uh, classic games like classic RPGs or um, like Ghosts and Goblins, for example. So there was other slides in Ghosts and Goblins, so. Holy Mace reduces damage from acid. She's dead, Sprout Sword. I wish I could get the acid thing, but I don't have the money again. I only really save up for going to the merchant. They give the merchant some time when they're spawned. Why? Oh, well, I didn't need to buy the meat because I would be wasting money. Oh, I'm getting a real big combo boost. Uh, they also most sometimes send, uh, like, ten, like, not ten times, but, um, weights on you. You see any of this one? Oh, it's a giant slime. Oh, uh, I could have perfect that. Oh, well. Royal Slime has been defeated. On to the next area. Do I have enough to buy it? Uh, we do damage of acid. Let's go with the broadsword. Just get more range. Oh no, they brought the little bats with the poisonous uh, drops. I think that's the acid they were referring to. I guess if I kill the source, the acid won't really be a problem. Nah, uh, you can't kill them that fast enough unless you're right next to them. Oh, I did our quest. Neat. Oh, God. I'm dying. Ouch. Oh, I gotta be careful. I might die. Oh, uh, never mind. I died. <laughs> nice. I got 69 uh, for the boss. Oh, that's what they were. Flying pots. I got a lot of fame for that one. Go with Silver Sword. Buy an armor upgrade. Kill the imp perfectly. Defeat the Leotor perfectly. Oh, that's gonna suck. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves, um... Let's see here. Let's see. There's Archer's Tail. Tamer's Tail. Ninja's Tail. Oh, it's just a ninja. Dang it, they're so expensive. Dragon Scale lasts to continue when you die. I think this one is, like... It's uh, not limited. Because all the stuff here is like one and only. Advanced mode. Boss rush. I think it'd be better to. Beater? It'd be easier to unlock the other characters first. Alright, well, might as well go ahead and go with the other characters. Next is Wizard. Her abilities and attacks are a lot more different compared to the other characters. As in, like, she can attack. She attacks with her attack button rather than uh, a jump. She has no jump in this game. It says she protects herself in a veil of uh, air. With her, she gets to learn magic, which can basically surround her or become like uh, a complete like. I say she's the most useful for attacks in terms of. I yet to unlock the other character, the remaining characters yet. But I like her attacks because uh, her attacks are uh, like. I, I know when to use them, and the interesting thing is that her attacks go, like, across the whole field, rather than me having to reach that side. Of course, that means I'm easily open to attack, so I don't keep pressing the attack button, that is. 
Alright, I should probably go over here and kill the slimes. Let's go with, uh, Flare, because that's a, that's a really good spell. What are her achievements right now? Each one has a different achievement. 200 kills with a Flare, buy an armor upgrade, and, uh, kill the Minotaur perfectly. Yeah, whenever she uses her, uh, her Veil attack, it's an uh, invincibility frame. And fireball. Bring it on. Ooh, miss me there. And fireball. Come on. I'm wide open. Ooh, that was close. Here you go, fireball. Booyah. Get the feet hard. Perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna live a lot longer as the, the wizard. I'm glad that the merchants are basically invincible because the killing them would, would suck. Alright, that's the armor upgrade quest. That's pretty nice. Alright, so wait a bit. I guess in the one downside is killing the skull enemies is gonna be hard. Because they're always in the air. Also, avoid that's gonna be a, a mess and a half. Nice. Oh, that's not. That wasn't ready yet. How many people do I have left to kill? Is it 200 enemies? How far is that one? Uh, 38%. All right. So I, I, I'm getting there. As long as I don't buy anything that will remove flare from my move set. Can't kill me, I'm just made of friggin' stuff. Ah, oh, the merchant's gone! Crap. Oh boy, here we go. Only when the amp is downwards can the wizard actually attack them, unless I have, like, that, uh, dancing fireball. It takes them a while just to get to the ground. It's the like, downside of fighting them. If you only have flare on you, or the, yeah, flare. If the attack is fast enough to- oh, fuck! No! I got the perfect! This fight's gonna take quite a while. Ouch. Oh, you are dead now. Bye. Nice. Open so my attack in order to do it. Alright, let's see here. I still need flare. Uh, let's see. 
Let's up buy some health for now. Of you. Oh, you suck. No. Alright, oh, got the thing. Now I can upgrade my thing. Dang it, stop spawning under me. That's not fair. Free storm. Let's go some directions. I think Ice Shard is an upgraded version of uh, Flare. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. Oh, I see. Flare freezes the enemies. I had to go over there and kill it. Never mind, it sucks. Great idea. If it, it's gonna kill even more so. Please get to the boss. I don't wanna. Well, that'll work. Four twenty-nine. That is 150. Freeze. Dang it. You always like complete three challenges at a time. Alright. Alright, I guess we'll go ahead and play the Knave now. The Knave is an interesting character. They're like the Knight, except you have two swords. You have to have two sides. We have both sides protecting you. Thing is, you only um, not, you can't jump too, but you know your knaves are very short. Your blades are very short. That's the drawback of being a knave. Kill 15 enemies with sled. Don't kill an enemy for 10 seconds. How the fuck do I do that? Do I just keep jumping? Come on. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I do it? I can't tell! There's just so many! Fucking... Oh my god! Stupid challenge! They just keep going near me! Oh my god, stop! You're gonna make me- Fuck it! Fuck that challenge! I'm killing all of them! There, if I stay here, god damn it. There we go, finally! Die! <laughs> what a dumb challenge! Alright, I need stiletto. God damn it! Oh, great, it's the Minotaur. This is gonna suck. I think the Knave's jump is a little bit more, like, it sucks compared to the Knight's jump. I think that's another drop back of the Knave. Alright. Ah! Oh! Minotaur has been slain. Die. Alright, I still need to get the stilettos. Do I have enough? No, I still need 10 more coins.
There's also a high score bonus in this game. I think the higher your score, the more points you get for fame. Alright, I have enough of the stilettos. Afterwards, I gotta go ahead and slaughter the stilettos. Specifically, his, um, the idea with him is that he gets a lot more gold, I guess, because of his status. Ooh, that had a diamond in it. Okay, this could work. We're on to the amp. Without losing any health, I'm getting hurt. I mean, I'm still gonna die at some point, that's for sure. Let's see what we got here. I still need to kill more people with the bell song. How many do I have left? Alright, I still need a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> Wasted a lot of time doing the no kill thing just to get on gold itself. I think now the gold's back to one because they're not, uh, the stronger enemies now. Alright, so I was wrong. The slimes are still, uh, strong. I gotta keep upgrading his weapons if I'm gonna get any more money. Never mind. I'm confused with how the nave works. I'm just gonna walk through, I don't even care about getting hurt. Alright, give me that armor bonus. So I have a lot to kill with the stilettos. Oh, I did it. Now I don't need to use the stilettos ever. Well, I'm getting hurt a lot. Alright, he wants me to split the, the, the royal slime into six pieces. Okay, one. Damn it! Ah! Impossible to do with this character. I'll have to do it with the wizard some other time. Dang it! I'm just going with the second, like, most pricey. Is it until I level up I start getting more gold? Is that the, the deal? Well, that just makes no sense, because then I won't be able to get all the gold then, because by the time I'm getting more and more gold and leveling up faster, I won't be able to get more. I already got the boss in me. Son of a... These fucking flying pots. They remind me of Mimics. Not Mimics, the uh... I forgot what they're called. The ones in uh, Final Fantasy that are in like a little goblin pot. I think there's a Mimics who think that's what they're called to they refer to in that game. That would be perfect sense for something like Zelda, considering that Zelda, that uh, Link makes a lot of pots in that game. Like, thousands of pots. Oh god! Oh god, I can really use some health right now. Oh! 
Ah, the stupid weight! Oh god, oh, I'm dead. Well, that covers this game. Let's see how much fame I have. <laughs> I can only reach this portion, I guess. I usually reach longer, but I guess since I'm not doing the wizard more, that's probably the reason why. It's like 10 bin coins. I have 900. Oh, that's nice. I got 69. Still not enough to buy. I think the archer is like 1,000? Or more than that. Let me go see if I try to buy the archer. No, nah, it's 12,000. Damn it. Well, that's it for this episode. This game is really fun. I mean, it was like only like a buck or two, uh, two bucks. I think it's just a bucket actually on the on the Apple Store. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.